Hello everyone, Ecotech here. I hope that you're all doing well. I'm here today with an update of the farm. So you can see that microgreens are growing. The germination of the sunflower and mainly the pea shoots aren't great. That's due to the new setup over here. So this new farm is uh, at a remote location. So I can't come in daily and check the water levels and uh, see that the water in my reservoir was cold. So it impeded a bit the growth. In addition to that, um, so sorry about that. If we go in the germination chamber um, this chamber I think also got too cold because it we had minus 20 degrees Celsius days in here but uh, I'm uh, slowly taking steps to improve this so today I'm uh, planting so I planted uh, I have wheatgrass then I have radishes uh, peas and at the end sunflowers in a few days I would come over here transfer the trays to the the grow shelf uh, these trays would be harvested I still want to look into the farm so I have this uh, camera set up and uh, this computer is always looking at uh, well this computer is connected to the camera and I remotely connect to the computer and I get to have a live feed of the crops and the other day I noticed hey my sunflowers aren't growing as fast as they should what's going on so I went on site uh, noticed that basically they weren't getting enough water i added a bit of water and tried to fix the the it was um it was an issue somewhere in the well it was this solenoid not behaving it, it got dislodged so I, I fixed that and now it should be fine so by having this camera over here uh, whoop, over here i'm able to just see remotely and not have to show up every day and instead i basically come here every friday for harvests every tuesdays for uh, planting today is tuesday and uh, the other days are optional been three days since the last clip I'm sorry but today I brought my camera but unfortunately I forgot to put the battery in the camera so I'll be recording with my phone you can see that the uh, sunflowers grew but unevenly due to the poor germination at the beginning and then the peas are clearly affected and also that tray over here the radishes and the wheatgrass were a bit more forgiving so this uh, yield today is not great but it, uh, I'll be able to use it for personal use uh, now if we look at the germination chamber, let's see how they are doing. So the wheatgrass, let me turn this light on. So the wheatgrass seems to be doing well. Ooh, the radishes, the wheatgrass is destroying the radishes. Good to know. The peas, again issues with the peas. Hmm. I'll have to see what's going on. And the sunflowers are doing decently, but there is a bit of mold. So I'll spray them with a bit of uh, peroxide to fix that. So. Today I will be transferring these trays onto the shelf and uh, well first I'll make room by harvesting these shelves. There we have it, all the trays are transferred in the shelf. I have moved one of the flood tables up there and moved the solenoid here. Now I have activated a flood event so that it would water it. So if we look over here, you should be able to see the solenoid with the red light meaning, meaning it's active and it's uh, dispersing water. Sorry for the shaky, it's a bit high for me. And you can see the water is coming out. Uh, so yeah, again, it's the controller over there in the back that's connected to the pumps. And uh, I'm running low on water, so I'll have to replenish my water tanks because uh, this building doesn't have water, but uh, yeah. So you can see that it's basically flooding this shelf over here so soon if not right now yeah the water is slowly rising and it'll come and uh, the, the soil will soak it up and it started to, to go over here because it reached a level and it's gonna again flood this level and uh, then once it floods this uh, solenoid this bell siphon behind here is uh, gonna push it to the next one and you can see those the bell siphon here and so on and so forth so the watering is cascading and with one solenoid I'm able to water an entire rack we are now the following Tuesday. You can see that the sunflowers aren't doing so great. The germination rate wasn't great and I think I've left them out of the, I took them out of germination a day too early. You can see that the peas are also not properly germinating. So today I wanna to talk about solutions and what I will be trying to do to fix that. This germination chamber is colder than I used to have it at my old setup. And uh, also because the room is a bit bigger, I have a harder time keeping it humid. So you can see that the humidifier right now is empty. And every time I have to come in, the humidifier is almost always empty and I have to refill it. So in order to keep this room a bit hotter and humid, what I will be doing is installing one of these aquarium 
uh, heaters so if you take it out of the box this is what you get and there's a red knob on top and if I twist the red knob you should be able to see there you go the uh, numbers changing and you can set the temperature that you would like so I will set this to uh, 27 degrees such that it'll heat up basically this water bucket so I put this in here and I will take the water bucket holy crap I take the water bucket I'll put it there and I will plug it in. So now this will act as a heater and a bit of a humidifier to assist this main humidifier. This alone wouldn't uh, be able to keep the humidity high, but it at least will give a bit of help to this guy. Another reason that might explain why these trays aren't growing as well as they used to once I put them on the rack and why you have uneven germination might have to do with this water reservoir. So I have this water reservoir right on the floor and because outside it is very cold and the cold transfers over through the concrete, I've noticed that it actually gets the water fairly cold. Now you might notice that I put a few uh, stacks of like uh, wooden planks to in insulate the uh, watering the, the water tank however I don't think this is enough and therefore from now on I will putting uh, will be putting another one of these aquarium heaters into this reservoir to keep the temperature I think at a maybe 23 degrees Celsius another reason why I might not get perfect germination is because I'm running another job I'm not always there to uh, soak the seeds at the right time for the right amount and for that reason I will now work on an automatic soaking machine. We are now the following Friday and I am here to harvest these crops as well as transfer the trays from the germination chamber to this grow rack. Now unfortunately you can see that the wheatgrass isn't growing well, the soil is very dry, the peas aren't as well, the sunflowers are okay-ish and over here the radishes are basically dead as well as this tray is dead and unfortunately what happened is that this reservoir uh, did not have enough water and the water wouldn't get to the right level and basically I lost some crops So it's not an issue as this is just for personal use, but yeah, I definitely will fix that now if we look at the uh, germination chamber I last time I learned that I should only put uh, Wheatgrass on top of each other. Unfortunately, I made the mistake of forgetting to transfer this one on this side So if we look we can see the wheatgrass doing well uh, it destroyed again the radishes under that seemed to germinate well and now what I'm really excited about are these peas. Let's see these peas. Much better and if we look at the sun, sunflowers, could be better and uh, not great. And I think yeah, peas are doing a lot better this time. Now they're doing a lot better because I manually, I took time off to, to soak them at the right time, like closer to the right time, not exactly as well as heating up this, uh, I, I heat up this water reservoir, so it's adding humidity and heat into this, only this grow tent, which is uh, the germination chamber, and all these seem to help. Now in the next video, I'll be uh, showing you a project that I'm working on, which is an automatic um, seed soaking device that will allow me to have the seed soaking at, for the correct amount of time and hopefully fix this germination issue. So, so hopefully all the measures that were taken for the germination will actually help the next growth cycle and I will also replace these uh, custom bell siphons with the most up-to-date, I think version 54 uh, revision such that they are all the same and more consistent and this should result in consistent growth and uh, I'll let you know. Take care. Bye.